Welcome to Optic Street Debates. My name is Theodore. My name is Masha. And today, Masha, we're going to talk about the differences between nitrogen filling and argon filling of the binoculars. Yeah. As you're probably aware, uh, all the binoculars, almost all the binoculars on the market today are filled with either nitrogen or argon to solve the internal fogging. Everybody who wears glasses can relate to this problem because when you go from a hot environment to cold environment, you usually get fog on your glasses. Binoculars are the same, except that the fogging happens inside. Yeah. So you're not able to clean it like on the glasses. Yes. <clears throat> this is the reason why now all the binoculars are filled either with argon or nitrogen, which contain no water. Yeah. So they're completely dry inside. Yeah. The okay. first one was yeah. uh, Steiner. Yeah. Uh, they in the middle of seventies. Yes. Oh, I have, we have, have Steiner here. Steiner, yeah. yeah. Um, they they tried to solve this problem of internal fogging. That's why they introduced dry gas to uh, the inside of binoculars. Yeah. So that so why why dry gas? Well, it's really easy. <clears throat> so the main goal was to get water out. Okay. And you could use dry air but it's really hard and it's expensive and so on. So it's much easier to buy a non-reactive glass, which yeah. has zero water content. And nitrogen was, first of all, non-reactive. Nothing can happen with yeah. it. And it was affordable <coughs> and available in, in huge quantities. This is the reason why they choose nitrogen. Uh, later, some companies also chose argon, yeah. which is very similar. It has a little bit bigger molecules, so in theory, it should leak even mm -hmm. slower than nitrogen, but in reality, if you have a puncture, both of these two gases will go out. Um, so the main difference between argon and nitrogen is in, in marketing effect. Okay. So the argon is a little bit more fancy, it's more yeah. modern, less common. It's also a bit more expensive as a material, but in, in the whole costs of the binoculars, is it's not really... So the differences are basically almost almost no. None. In in optical performance, I think that you you looked after. Yeah. That. So there's basically no difference, difference yeah. in optical performance. So it's it's easy. Well, it is true that it has some kind of cool factor for those who don't really know <laughs> the binoculars. It's this one is yeah. filled with argon. It's and special. Not, yeah, it's special. Everybody, every other binocular is with, it's filled with nitrogen but the function is the same. Yeah. So if we make a conclusion, what's the difference between argon and nitrogen? In terms of use, there is no difference. Both of them guarantee that you have no internal fogging. And this is the only mm -hmm. thing important. What can also happen inside of the binoculars? Yeah, fungus can appear, yeah. right? True. That again, if you have nitrogen or argon, you're safe on the safe yeah. side. Yeah. No fungus inside. If you have an older binoculars which are not sealed and where is air inside, fungus can happen. Yeah. And then again, you need servicing. Yeah. Okay, I think this, this was it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you in our next video. Bye.